Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this react project video tutorial, we will learn that how we can add logout functionality to our project. So these are the points for this video. First of all, we will add a logout option inside our header and uh, it will be visible only after a user logged in. And uh, after that, we will make a function so that uh, we can call this function for logout functionality. And after logged out, we will redirect our user to the registration or login page and uh, we will test our complete flow of this functionality also, right? So now let's get started. So most of the code we will do inside our uh, uh, header component. So let's directly jump on header dot JS. Here it is, right? So. Uh, I'm just going to make a drop down so that on the click of this drop down we can just see the logout option and here we can just see the username which is logged in right so just come here and uh, create a functionality for that I'm going to create a just one more nav like this and uh, we can add here a drop down which, which will be nav drop down right and uh, we must have to import it from here. This is automatically import whenever we will just enter on suggestions, right? And uh, just define here title. And let's say my title name is user uh, name. And after just uh, some moments, I will just place here actual username. And uh, now you will find that we have a username functionality and uh, there is a no logout button for a moment. So let's create it. Nav drop down dot item. And here we can simply put here logout like this, right? But these should be visible after user logged in, not before logged in, right? So I will just manage these things also. But first of all, let's check these things. This is working fine. So now let's uh, create a user registration. So let's say my username is uh, Tony and password is uh, abc at the rate 123 and email address can be Tony at the rate test.com or something right and let's sign it up and uh, now you can see that we have a uh, local storage with the user information and uh, after logged in, we have the two menus, add product and update product. And uh, let's show the actual username here. And after that, we will create a logout functionality. So let me take a variable, the name of let's say user and uh, just get the value from the local stories, local stories dot get item. And our item name is user info. And uh, we cannot access directly uh, data from the local storage. We must have to parse it. So just write here JSON dot parse because in a local storage uh, data will be stored inside uh, with the string format like this, right? And now if you just want to check that what we are just uh, getting inside a user, then you will just see we will have all information about the current user. So let me just refresh it and uh, here it is Tony inform uh, email address and ID and all. So just use here Tony user dot name and here you can see that we got a Tony here but due to the security purpose so that uh, let's say if name is not defined. Uh, so that it should not be just to show any error. So we can just simply use user and username, right? So now this is still fine. All right. So now let's uh, uh, make a function for logout. I'm just going to make a function with the name of a logout. Logout and make console or we don't need to just write here console just simply use here local storage dot clear we want to clear all data because the user is just gonna log out so we don't need any data inside local storage and uh, 
after that we can redirect it but how we can redirect we need a use history hook let's create an instance of it const history is use history and now let's let's use here history dot push and uh, just write here register now let's call this function on the click of this item like this now again let's click on it on a logout and now you can see that user is logged out but there is a problem these menu also should be hide from here so what we can do from them for that you can just simply check if local storage is available then we can just show these menus otherwise we can show null like this and now this is not visible and uh, to test the functionality we can just uh, make it one more user let's say peter abc at the rate one two three or something and uh, email address like uh, peter145 at the rate test.com and let's go inside the application so that we can just check the local storage also and here we go now we have a use local storage and uh, we have a logout option and everything and let's click on logout and now everything is gone from here and these are the pre, pre -auto, -fill, auto field requests so we can just remove them right so this is the way that how you can just uh, add a logout functionality in the next video we will see that how we can add a login functionality because till now we are just uh, created the registration functionality right so thanks for watching this video bye bye take care